you see? Miss Fire, did you see? I took her down with just one shot. One shot. Yeah, I saw it. Then I mashed her real good like. <laughs> you sure did. And now, now she's just easy pickings. Back away from her now. And I'll only hurt you a little bit. Instead of a lot. Ha! Nuts to that. I'm gonna hurt you a lot right now. Why, you dirty Autobot! You're next! I think you mean you're next. Mr. Top's bad twin twist. Did you find Wind Blade? Uh, affirmative. As well as a couple of Decepticons, Trigger Happy and. Misfire here. Windblade's injured. Abandon the cons, recover Windblade, report back to base immediately. I don't know why, but Nova's calling everyone home. Something big is going on. Oh, and I was just gearing up to have some real fun here with Trigger Happy. And show him his own inner circuitry. Guess it'll have to wait for another time. Don't make the mistake of thinking that this is over between us, Autobots. Let's get Windblade home, even if I hate leaving. Unfinished business, cowards. Hey, you talk tough now when we have to leave. Let's see what happens the next time we meet. Don't worry, we won't forget this little encounter of ours. And we won't forget your brave talk, Trigger Happy. There go two of the most conceited Autobots I think I've ever come across. Let's just go home. We'll get our chance another time. What? No way! They were called back to base in a hurry, which means something really important is going on. This is our chance to find some really valuable information for the boss. He'll be so impressed. He's never really that impressed with us. Blaster, rewind here. There are a couple of Decepticons real close on my tail, and... I've used up a lot of my energy on trying to outrun them. I, I could really use some help right about now. I hear you, little buddy, loud and clear. Help is on the way. Ah, so since it was your wise idea to pursue the Autobot, what is our next move? I do not know in which direction he went. Do you? Eh, well, there are footprints right here that would be about his size. So I guess logic dictates that we go that way, toward the gully. And you know what is down in the gully? A dead end. You keep following the prince. I'm gonna circle around and we'll box him in. There won't be any escape for him. Oh no. Oh, I'm trapped. It's a dead end. What am I gonna do now? <laughs> end of the line, Pally. End of the line. Only for you, so back away and I won't have to play. Every top 40 hit I know, I need tin can drums. Huh? What a stroke of luck. Fortune favors the weary after all. Back away. Unless, of course, you don't mind your partner being put out of commission. Then do as you wish, but I will not give you another warning to stand down. Don't you even dare think about having it. Spoken like a true Autobot hero. But you know the funny part is, I've never done anything to an Autobot that I've ever lived to regret. Decepticons. 
this battle is gone. And fate has determined that for you, the day is lost. Leave this place now while you can under your own strength. You arrived exactly at the right time, Sentinel. Thank goodness you came when you did. It was no accident. I have ordered all Autobots back to base. Something miraculous has occurred. Something that is hearkening all of us. Oh, the Cybertron. We do not have the time to waste. Hey, stop being lazy. Get up, we've got work to do. <sighs> Watch work. We're gonna follow those Autobots. They were talking about going back home to Cybertron, but last I knew, Cybertron was just a, a dead, energyless husk of what it used to be. What could possibly be back there that would make the Autobots go back? Whatever it is, I bet the boss would love to know. Probably give us a big reward too. Stop him on my own. Have no fear, the cavalry is here. Back away, Chrome Dome. Get somewhere safe. We'll handle Menasaur. Ha! Ah, there is nowhere safe. He will fall to my blade. Maybe, just maybe, you're the one who should back up a step or two. Such strong words, Litterbot. Prepare for your annihilation. Ah, who is on Minasaur? Get off of Minasaur now! Now is our opportunity while Minasaur is down. He's not gonna stay that way for long. We've gotta get everybody aboard Broadside. I'm ordering everyone back to base. Pronto. Come on, get on your feet, Minnesota. The Autobots are gonna get away. <sighs> Minnesota energy low. Need boost for revenge. That's it, Rodimus. All aboard. Sweat it, Minnesota. This plays very nicely into our hand. <laughs> How? Because if Rodimus Prime was here himself to get everyone to go back to base, then something big must be going down. And this time, the Stunticons are gonna be just the guys to find out what the scoop is and report it back to the boss. ASAP. Look, your guess is as good as mine. All I know is that Optimus told me to be here just like everybody else. Well, I guess we could all agree that if he's calling everybody back from the field, then it must be something big, right? Indeed, chaps. I should hope so. For Optimus knows how important my invaluable time is. <laughs> Then, Optimus, what exactly is all of this about? <laughs> I'm glad that you asked, Skylix, old friend. For this has to do with the very fabric of the universe. And 
a special mission that we have been tasked with. One that vitally requires us to return home to Cybertron. But Pipes, I want to hear what's going on. Yes, yes, and I appreciate your enthusiasm, Windblade, but you're injured. You need to lie back, you need your rest, and you need to let me repair your damages. But... Fine. I promise you, Windblade, I will personally be your source of information. You'll be kept in the loop, you'll know everything that's going on. But for now, I just want you to lie back, I want you to rest, we need you to heal up. Okay, so now that Windblade is being tended to, let's get to the topic at hand. Now, Nova, you know that we respect you and all, but why exactly are we on this desperate course to go back to Cybertron? Last I knew, there was nothing left there. No energon, and no life. Fair question. The universe, as you know it now, is... Really, the remnants of the entire multiverse collapsed into one. It had to do with a conflict between Primus and Unicron. In the process, Unicron escaped this void of nothingness where he had been trapped. Unfortunately, Primus is still there. Cybertron is still there, so we need to at least go to the location in space where Cybertron once existed. Something is there. Something is in its place. Anyway, we're gonna meet with Autobots from really the four corners of the universe, and hopefully be able to open a vortex that will allow Primus to come through and take his rightful place among the stars as our home once again. Uh -huh. And. Have you even thought about exactly how we're gonna get there? Or what we're gonna find when we get there? Or what we're gonna do when we get there? That's just the tip of the iceberg of the questions that I have about this whole endeavor. I wish I had all the answers for you, but I don't. Fact is, all I can tell you is that Scapper is working on the Metroplex ship. We're gonna have to use all of our energon and resources that we have, even give some of our own personal energon. I don't know what we're going to find there, and I really don't know the, the plan once we're there. Part of this is mystical. Part of this is simply having faith and trusting that Primus will show us what to do when we're there. And what to do when the time is right. I mean, I believe in Nova, and if Nova believes in this, then I believe in this. Okay, now stay real quiet, like. <laughs> Easy for you to say, Thunderhoof. You're not the one injured. Shh. Quit your belly aching and complaining. I'm trying to hear what's going on here. Oh, well, pardon me for interrupting your concentration. Far be it for me to complain when I'm missing a hand. A hand. All I wanted to do was go home and get repaired. But no, now I have to go around with one inoperable hand. If you keep squawking and making static like that, then the Autobots are gonna hear us. And we're not gonna get the intel we're looking for. And you're gonna have to worry about a lot more being inoperable than just your hand. Now, pipe down. This is all pretty far out. I mean, how do you know that there are even Autobots in the four corners of the universe? And how do you know that the entire multiverse collapsed into one? I'm assuming that everything that you've said is true. Then how will we be able to anticipate what's in space now at the location where Cybertron should be? And more importantly, if Unicron is free and here, shouldn't we be experiencing his chaos? At the very least, isn't he a major threat? Those are excellent questions, and I only have partial answers. 
Even those are afforded to me because of my possession of the Chalice of Wisdom. All I can tell you is this. I am aware of these other Autobot groups in the known universe because I have had a psychic patch with representatives from each group. It was Primus's own power that brought us together, but we have all been given the directive to meet at the location of the Well of All Sparks, or at least where the Well of All Sparks once was, if we have any hope of saving our home, of saving Primus. I know that the multiverse has indeed collapsed, and that within each of us is a unique combined spark of all iterations of ourselves that have ever existed. Every sentinel from every universe resides within me. Every scattershot from every universe resides within him, and so on and so forth. That's why we all have such confused and disjointed memories. It also means that anything is fair game. Those sparks we thought long extinguished may burn bright again, and those who we have never met may be our best friends. It is a confusing time, I agree, but I need you to have faith in me and in Primus, especially now, because if Unicron is, in fact, in existence within this universe, then we have to reestablish Primus's position among the stars. For if Unicron awakens and does start to breed his own brand of chaos, only Primus will be able to stand against him. See? I told you, slow down. Didn't I tell you to slow down? But no, you had to go in half-baked as usual, Chase. Yeah, but you know me, Springer. It's always about the thrill of the chase. Mm-hmm. Except this time, it was almost about the chase getting squished. Ugh. I don't even want to look under your hood. Back here is enough of a mess. You know, you really did a number on yourself here, Chase. Will he... Will he be okay? Huh. Of course he'll be okay. He might be a dang fool, but he's one of the luckiest bots I've ever known. Yeah? Well, I'm not feeling so lucky right about... Ow! Brainstorm, watch what you're doing back there. I'm sorry, Chase, but I told you it was a mess back here. Consider this your punishment for keeping me from the whole big meeting that Rodimus got going on. I really wanted to know what he was going to tell us, and, well, work comes first and the patient comes first. Ah, uh, now you're making me feel bad, Brainstorm. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to keep you from something that you wanted to attend. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I mean, your health comes first, and if it's that important, I'm certain Rodimus will make sure that we all know about it. Ooh, speaking of which, you guys should head out. I mean, it's almost time for... The meeting, and somebody's got to be there to hear what Rodimus has to say. He's right, and when you're right, you're right. Yes, indeed. Feel better, Chase. We should get moving. Please, after you, my captain. Hey, uh, don't forget to take notes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, let me just make sure that I'm understanding all of this correctly. I mean... I'm old. What do you expect? So, in the entirety of the space-time continuum, there were a bunch of universes, each one out there just existing, just fine. And then Unicron and Primus, and they had a scuffle, and that caused those universes to all collapse into one, right? So far, so good, cop. Uh, don't forget that the whole battle between Primus and Unicron took place in this kind of weird void of nothingness. It was Unicron's prison. And at the end of the battle, Unicron escaped into our universe here now, but Primus was trapped there. Right, lad, right. And the only way that Primus was able to save any of us was to coalesce all versions of ourselves into one. Like he couldn't save all of the cups from all of the different universes, so he put them all inside me, so to speak. 
just like he put all of the sandstorms inside a sandstorm and all of the broadsides inside a broadside. And that's why we're so confused and have a lot of strange memories and it's also why none of us can remember anything before the flash of bright light because this universe that we're in now didn't exist before the flash, right? Right again, Cup. And that is why we are where we are now. This is it. There's no more multiverse. There's no realities for Unicron to move between. This is the final stand. Wherever he's to, building up his strength and building up his power, this is our opportunity to save Primus, to release him from that prison of nothingness. There's going to eventually be one final stand against Unicron. Nowhere for him to escape this time. We need to be ready, and that is why Alpha Trion contacted me and Optimus and Nova and Sentinel and ordered all of us to meet at the location of the Will of All Sparks. Now, because Primus is trapped, whatever is kind of holding the position in space where Cybertron should be is the place that we all have to go to, and wherever the Will of All Sparks should be located, but that's the coordinates on that planet, planetoid, asteroid, whatever it is that we're going to have to go to. Well, hot diggity, that sounds like a great old time adventure. It's basically going to be a race for us to release Primus before Unicron can unleash his chaos on the entire universe. Okay, so the stakes are high, but that's what makes it fun, right? I'm glad that Cup is finding this fun, because I'm sure not. Eh, Broadside? Look, I realize that I'm asking a lot. I'm asking you guys to have a lot of faith in me without giving a whole lot of clarity in return. But I need you to trust me. I need you to know that this is for the fate of our home, the fate of the entire universe, the fate of every life that exists. I just need you to believe in me. I'm not even 100% sure what's going on myself, but I believe in Primus. And if I believe in Primus, hopefully you can believe in me. I mean, I get it. There's a lot of mysticism here. I'm asking you to take a leap of faith and believe in a lot of things that you can't touch or feel, but hopefully I haven't led you astray in the past and Hopefully, you have that same faith in me now. Psst, come. What's going on here? Pipe down, Springer, my boy. Look, long story short, there was a big fight between Unicron and Primus. Primus is trapped in some void. And if we want to get Cybertron back into the known universe and out of that void, then Rodimus here and a few other Primes have got to meet up at the location where the Well of All Sparks should be so that they can open some sort of a portal. Yeah, that barely made any sense. But saving the known universe, bringing Cybertron back, sounds like fun. Count me in. So, any bright ideas on how we're going to get back to Cybertron? Yeah, what she said. I mean, I'm happy to kind of transport you guys, but I'm really more seafaring than I am spacefaring. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that at all, Broadside. I'm not going to ask you to transport us. No, I have a different idea in mind. I think, I think the most logical solution would be for me to recommission the fortress. This is one time where... I need more than one bot supporting me. I need everybody on board with this plan. The only way that this works is if we cooperate. Probably more than we ever have. And what if you're wrong? Then we've just abandoned this entire planet to the Decepticons to go on a wild goose chase. And what if I'm not wrong? Then we stay here and simply give the universe over to Unicron whenever he's ready to take it. No, I said part of this was about having faith. 
I need to believe in Primus and the other Autobots, and I need you all to believe in me. We have the Metroplex ship. That will get us there. We have to trust that Optimus and his crew will find a way to reach the same coordinates, as well as Rodimus and his crew and Sentinel and his crew. We have to work together on this. How close are we to ready for departure, Scamper? Hmm? I would say very soon. I mean, I've been working on the ship for a pretty long time, Nova. I think I've just about got everything back in functioning order. Don't worry, she'll be ready to leave when you are. Well, that's great to hear. I'm going to call back a couple of operatives that we still have out in the field, like Whirl. As soon as everyone's back here at base, we take off, then we head home. I cat understood. She'll be ready. She'll be ready. Huh. Did you hear that? They're going back back to Cybertron? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the boss is really gonna wanna know about this. If they're going back to Cybertron, I bet we're going back to Cybertron too. So, pardon my ignorance, but the question needs to be asked. How are we going to get back to the coordinates? In question, how are we going to get back to where we're supposed to be? That's a rather lengthy space journey from here. Fair question. I'm going to undertake the flight myself with all of you aboard. I'm going to request that you stay in stasis and you will be connected to me so that I may siphon off the necessary energon required to act as fuel, at least until I can get to a proper refueling station. I know that this is a lot to ask, but these are, of course, extraordinary circumstances. Uh, going back to Cybertron, eh? Real interesting. All right, Quillfire, we can get your hand looked at now. We've got something real useful to tell the boss about. And so there you have it. The whole sordid story. In order to protect this universe from the wrath of Unicron, we need to return to the exact coordinates of the Well of All Sparks. We need to meet with those other Autobot groups making their way to the same location. And presumably get further instructions from there. And that's exactly where you come into play, Skylinks. Do you think that you can traverse space from this world to home? I realize the journey will be long, but with the rest of us kept in stasis and you being able to use the majority of our energon as a fuel supply, do you think that you can make it Oh. Hmm. Indeed, this is quite the responsibility, Optimus, but you can count on Skylinks to deliver this cargo safely back to Cybertron and be the hero of the universe. Ah, uh, good old Skylinks, humble as ever. You know, Optimus, I could travel with Skylinks. After all, he's going to be carrying very precious cargo. It may be beneficial for him to not be alone. Plus, I would be able to scout ahead just to make sure that the coast is clear for him. Smart thinking, Cosmos. It's settled then. Skylinks will transport us back to the location of the Allspark. We will remain in stasis until our arrival. I know not what sort of planet or planetoid rests in space at that location, but I do trust that Primus will make the next part of his plan clear to us at that time, and that we will be able to save him, our home, and the universe. <laughs> Interesting. Well, did you find anything out worthwhile? Well, that depends. Would you say that the Autobots going back to Cybertron is worthwhile? Really? How? Now that I don't really know. It seems like they're going to use Skylinks as their mode of transportation. 
I also don't know why they're going back there, but it seems pretty important. Optimus Prime seems very invested. Well, I guess then there's nothing left for us to do but report this back to base. I'm sure the boss isn't going to want to waste any time. Agreed. We'd best get moving. Maybe, maybe I can hide instead of expending all my energy. I know that you're not gone far. I was joking when I suggested you run. But this is fun. It's giving me a thrill. I will find you. After all, I'm not the galaxy's greatest bounty hunter for nothing. supposed to bring him in alive. You know how much you just cost me. You cost me a high price. I cost you the same. to face. Show an ounce of bravery. There you go. Now that we are eye to eye, we can handle this like gentlemen. Yes. Yes. I understand that. Access doesn't matter, nor does the bounty. I have been called to a higher purpose. In service of Unicron. 